Good afternoon. I am Daniela von der Fecht, life coach. Uh, today, while taking a little stroll outside, I thought, let us talk about gratitude in the face of adversity. Some clients have said to me, yes, it's all right talking about gratitude and being grateful when all is going well and I feel good. I've got no worries and everything is going smoothly. However, when uh, I worry about how to pay the next bill or How's my job going to work out? Will I still have a job? What's going to happen with suppresses me? And to be fair, worries will enter our head like clouds. Come on the sky, take the sun away for a bit and exactly like clouds, they will pass. So let us not focus on that. Let us not focus on what could be better. There's always something that could be better. Like there's always someone who is prettier, richer, better equipped for this, this, this or that. That doesn't matter. Let's stop comparing to start with. Gratitude should be what we feel deep inside. When we know we are alive, we have got people in our lives that care for us, that want the best for us. We have a place to sleep, something to eat, if we have all this, we've got enough reason to be grateful already. And then there is just gratitude for whoever we actually are. And the specific talents, the special uniqueness about us that we have been equipped with. Gratitude can be for actually just having woken up today. There is many people who fight for their lives every moment and uh, would love to be able to wake up and say, thank God. I'm still alive or thank the universe, whoever it is you would like to thank for. So every day, maybe take five minutes out of your day, take an old scrapbook or a pretty book, whatever you like, and write down in the morning when you first wake up, or in the evening, when you've had a full day of things going on, and write down just maybe five things that you can feel grateful for. Could be that you saw the first uh, little pots of plants that you have planted and nourished, it could be that you won a fiver on the lottery. It could be that someone surprised you with a little card or a phone call or a text message just saying, I'm thinking of you. There is innumerable reasons to be grateful for. And the more we focus on that, the more we will attract good things. And those clouds, those negative thoughts will start to go. We can all do that. 
it isn't that hard. It just takes every one of us to refocus, to change what we naturally tend to look at. Let us just be grateful and enjoy all that surrounds us and be happy, have a laugh and have a good evening. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.